Hi, my name is Ryan Wiggins, and I'm going to be presenting the Baptistry Pulpit in Pisa, Italy. The Baptistry Pulpit was commissioned in 1255 AD by the Christian Church. The commission went out to Nicola Pisano, a popular and talented artist and sculptor in the area. Nicola Pisano finished the, the pulpit in 1260 AD and was soon considered to be one of his masterpieces. The Baptistry Pulpit is an intricate piece involving several different scenes, figures, and even two different styles of artwork. The pulpit is octagonal in shape and stands on a total of seven columns, one for each point and one central column underneath the pulpit. The columns themselves are built on top of sculpted animals and sculpted people. As well, as you go up the column, you'll see sculpted figures at the top of the capitals of these columns. The pulpit also features five panels, which you can see in these images. They are made of white carved marble and depict scenes during the life of Christ. These images consist of scenes from the Nativity, the Annunciation, the Adoration of the Magi, the Presentation, the Crucifixion, and the Last Judgment. The pulpit was also at one time all painted and colored, but now only its stony color is featured. Including the figures and panels mentioned, there are very distinct influences of Roman and French Gothic architecture in the pulpit. The people and animals are stylized after that of the Romans, even including the clothes that the people are wearing are very similar to the tunics and dresses that the Romans would have worn. The pulpit also features a nude relief of Hercules, which is quite surprising considering that the pulpit was for the use in Christian services and has many images of Christ on it, as well as residing in a Christian church. The French Catholic style is seen in a in the actual structure and arches of the pulpit having the clover-like archways as well as serving as some of the column structure. So the French Gothic style as well as Roman is seen in the Baptistry pulpit. This piece is actually quite innovative for its time. During this time, the Gothic contemporary architecture was very popular and seen throughout Europe and the surrounding area. But the Baptistry pulpit combines this with styles from ancient Rome putting a new and refreshing look to things. To compare it, the Last Judgment Typanium at the Cathedral of St. Lazarus will be used, as well as, as well as Constantine's Victory Arch in Rome, to help see the Roman features more clearly. Here we see the Last Judgment Typanium at the Cathedral of St. Lazarus. In this image we see the very distinct um, Gothic style sculpting in the over the doorway here. We see the people who are sculpted not proportionally. Their heads are sometimes larger than their bodies. Their bodies are elongated. Um, we don't see a lot of detail going into many of the figures and features. As well, we see the arches and the columns feature a lot of the gothic style that we see during this time period. But when we turn towards Constantine's Victory Arch in Rome, we see more of the Baptistry pulpit style incorporated into this. Here we can see the figures standing all around the archway are very proportioned. They are clothed well, they are detailed, and they are done in such a way that is very classic of Roman architecture. As well as we can see a lot of the details that go into the animals that would have gone also into the Roman architecture. So as we compare the two, we can see that the Baptistry pulpit in Pisa, Italy is quite innovative for its time, adding the two distinct but different art styles to give it a very fresh and new look. Nicola Pisano really created a wonderful piece. He created a piece that incorporates two different styles, something that wasn't really thought of or really done in that day. So he was a really in innovative artist. And now for his great work, we can see a great looking pulpit that still to this day amazes those who go and see it.